Hey. Did I wake you? No, that's good. Yeah, you just woke up too. Mm. Yeah. But I've been up a few minutes. I just wanted to hear your voice. I miss you so much. Hmm. Yeah, you too. Did you sleep okay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I slept fine, thanks. Still tired, but there's nothing on today, uh, not this morning anyway, so I can just lay here and be lazy and lounge as much as I want, well, for a few hours anyway. <laughs> mm. Mm, as I told you, I missed you in the last few minutes. <laughs> Well, I do. It's so good to hear your voice. Um. Mm. What have you got planned today? Yeah, no, I've, uh, I've got nothing on this morning. I'm going to run a few errands later. A few things to drop off and try and get some work done. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty windy here too. It's it's been blowing, blowing all night. It would have been so nice to have you here beside me. And snuggle up against you. And listening to the wind outside and the rain falling. It's so lovely. My eyes close and I can hear your voice and I can picture you. It's almost as if you were here. Well, in a way, really, you are here all the time. Not really. I feel you with me all the time, your presence. Yeah. When I go throughout my day and something happens or someone says something or I just have a random thought. And my first thought after that is, ah, oh, I want to share it with you. I just really like you, you being in my life. I've missed you for so long, but I never really knew you. Not until recently, anyway. <laughs> now that I've found you, it's, I don't know. I was going to say complete. I feel complete, but I already felt complete. I already felt loved and happy in my own skin, in my own head. Since meeting you, I, I don't know, this, everything's a little brighter. It's like someone's turned up the saturation. <laughs> and it's more fun, you know? Ultimately, life is more fun with you in it. I like that you're in my life. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that you're beautiful as well. Huh? You are very gorgeous to me. Mm -hmm. You're such a beautiful soul as well. So kind, loving, compassionate and caring. You don't let your ego take over either. I mean, yeah, sure, you have one. We all have an ego. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are trying to kill their egos these days. <laughs> Why? It's just uh, never, never made any sense to me. It's... Mm. We have egos and that is that. I can't imagine life without an ego, to be honest. Like, I don't know. So to me, like an ego is, is like a, a thought-based self, you know? Everything that I think about myself that I've accumulated over the years and everything other people have said to me and I've heard, and, you know, I'll sort of build this imaginary thought-based entity. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to get rid of that. It's kind of fun having an ego. As long as you don't, uh, as long as I don't let it control me, you know. And the moment I start letting letting my ego take the shots, then uh, <laughs> yeah, that's when the roller coaster starts. Or the suffering, I should say. Yeah, it's no fun. Yeah, no, my. I kind of see my ego as a, a wayward friend, you know, <laughs> someone who needs a gentle hand and needs to needs a good hug every now and then, and needs to be taken lightly, because he's a really funny guy. <laughs> the things he comes up with and the thoughts he has. Yeah, I think that's the trick, is not to take it seriously. Yeah, the moment you start taking these thoughts seriously, then you start believing them. And yeah, you just open the door to suffering. Anyway, I'm rambling here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like your ego too. <laughs> I think that's the thing. I think so many people really think that they are their ego. And it's kind of funny. Kind of like we're all on a stage together, playing these parts, pretending to be someone, pretending to be a, an actor, playing out some kind of role. But then to be able to stop and see that, it's not always easy. Not always easy at all. But oh my God, when we do stop and see that, <laughs> oh, how can you not laugh at yourself? Hmm. Yes, these are very serious roles. Hmm. Hmm. 
Um, I wish we were here too. Mm. I'm quite happily spend the morning cuddling you. Feeling your body warmth against mine. hearing that sweet voice of yours. How can a voice make me so happy? I don't get that. <laughs> I suppose it's not really the voice. I mean, you do have a beautiful voice. And I do love listening to you. I think what makes me happy really is, oh, it's you. Well, <laughs> you make me more happy, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, plus we're only human as well. We have needs and desires. There's nothing wrong with two people getting together and enjoying themselves enjoying each other. Gosh, I couldn't imagine not, not doing that. It's like one of the best parts of being human. It's like buying a ticket to the cinema and then just sitting in the foyer the whole time. While the film goes on, you just miss it. Oh, yeah, you might not be missing much. Depends on the film, right? <laughs> yeah, I've not been to the cinema for ages. Mm. Yeah, it'd be nice to go again. Mm, I could fall asleep here listening to you. You have a very soothing voice. Mm. Mm, you are lovely. Mm. Mm. Oh. I might just go back to sleep here, actually. <sighs> oh no, I almost feel, I almost feel guilt. But then, you know, you don't have to do what you're gonna do today. You can just go back to sleep as well. And we could meet up in a dream world. And we could sing and dance. Embrace each other. Mm. Doesn't that sound nice? Well, if you want, you can always give yourself permission to fall back asleep. And I'll be right here when you wake up. Because there's nowhere else to be. I'm always right here, and so are you. Hmm. Okay. And I love you too. And we'll speak soon. <laughs>